Wait, what? He ran from his, his spot. What's happening right now? <laughs> so we get to recover him on my spot, though. What's happening right now? Did you shoot him or did you shoot him? <laughs> This is without a doubt the biggest buck I've ever hunted in my life. So, I'll be back here this afternoon, tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, until, until I get a shot. I'm going to give it my all, that's for sure. The story ends how it's supposed to, one way or another. Yeah. I feel like this is how it's supposed to go down. It's honestly pretty crazy how many bucks were coming in here. There's like three different bachelor groups that were on my feeder. The big one, which is, I've, I've had him here for five plus years, been watching him for five plus years since he was like a two year old. He was probably 150, 155 inches as a 12 last year. And then he blew up into like a 17 pointer. Um, there's no telling how, how much he scores. I mean, I'd say he's probably pretty close to 200. I'm going to be scrambling here for the next couple weeks trying to relocate them, get them consistent again. I've got a handful of spots around here. We're actually going to go check a camera that I put out uh, a week ago. It's not a cell cam, just a regular camera. And I know he goes over there late season. Um, there's a chance he went back over there since his summer area basically just got mowed over. Yes, sir, Bob Errol. We just went and... Uh, Check my cameras for big boy six by six. Yeah. And he is showing up over at. No, he's not. Yep. I'm pretty much like solely focused on this deer at this point. I've I honestly haven't even run cameras at like the majority of my spots because this has been the. Yeah. This is the story this year, at least early on. For this time of year, that's a long way for a deer to move. And if that's the case, there's probably 20 other people that have picked their own pictures of that deer. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'm I'm kind of leaning towards the that can't be his. But that, I mean, that is the guy's name. That is his address on file, and it's in the area within a couple miles. He got sent a picture of it, and we're trying to figure out where it's from. Yeah, this is the right street. It always blows me away, like how far these deer can travel, just overnight. I mean, to get from where my other camera is to here, you'd have to cross two major roads where there's like traffic all the time and probably eight other like neighborhood roads like this one. And there's no direct route. Like there's not like a creek bottom that he'd be following. We got power lines, we got little fingers of woods but they still have to hop between those across roads and beyond houses all right so here's the deal at this spot it is a very tight spot the main trail that these deer use is like maybe 40 yards behind the house and my tree selection is very limited so i'm actually going to use a saddle setup for this one and it's going to be a solo mission i'm gonna have to self-film it the tree i'm about to get in is probably 10 inches in diameter so uh, basically I'm gonna I'm gonna get the platform set up on the back side of the tree and use the tree as like a barrier between me and the deer and just be able to kind of lean out and shoot the major trail is like 25 30 yards down that way basically right on the edge of the property I'm only heck I'm only five yards off the fence and we talk about this all the time we talk about in the master class a ton but like deer these big bucks they have this bubble god there's a lot of mosquitoes they have this bubble that like if you penetrate it and you kind of like stink up their area or you're coming in and out to a stand and going too far back in the woods they'll they'll get onto you so fast so we talk about kind of getting right on the outside edge of the bubble kind of staying closer to the houses where they're used to kind of other human scent other human activity uh, and that can that can be the difference between killing a deer and not so we're about as as tight to this house as we can possibly get.
pretty awesome first set. Opening morning, tons of deer. Not the big boy yet, but he's been in afternoon daylight twice in the last three days. So I'll be back in here this afternoon. And uh, tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day until, until I get a shot. This is without a doubt the biggest buck I've ever hunted in my life. So I'm gonna give it my all, that's for sure. So I just checked my camera where my number two shooter is, which isn't too far from here. And he's in front of the camera right now. Uh, might potentially hunt him tonight instead of over here and get this spot a little rest. exhausted spent all night last night tracking my number two deer it is too good not to get back in the stand this tropical storm is rolling in and the, the temperature has dropped significantly over the last day it's like 70 degrees outside it was 93 two days ago um, this is like big buck killing weather right here so foots on the gas on this one I'm not I'm not taking a break not letting up at all um, that would be absolutely ridiculous if if I shoot this deer at all this year, but if I tag out in September on a 190 and a 200 and something, I would probably just quit forever. Deer are definitely moving today. We just had a, that big tropical storm move through. It's been raining the last 24 hours. So I took the last two sits off uh, last night, then this morning. He's been showing up at night, pr fairly consistent. Uh, like every every three nights maybe he'll show up. Um, but it's been in the middle of the night, like 12 or one o'clock. But he showed up today at 10.30 in the morning, which is the weirdest thing. Like I, I've never had any deer show up here that late in the morning. I'm feeling like it could happen tonight. I mean, he's very close. I don't think he would have gone too far away. I don't know. <laughs> Only five days into the season and I'm feeling good about potentially tagging out in Georgia. Isn't gonna be easy. He's super smart. The crazy thing is, like, 
I've been hunting this area for five years. I've had this deer on camera around here for five years. I've never seen him from the stand once. Which kind of baffles me because he's been in the area. So I'm just thinking he is so methodical working his way through the woods that he just, he knows when something's off, knows when someone's in here, whether he smells me, is watching the other deer, having, he's got that sixth sense, I, I don't know, it's something, but this deer's really smart. So, I'm kind of prepared for the long haul on this one. The season started a week, a little over a week ago, and I've already put in 10 or 11 sits, so. I, I think they might start stacking up on this one. I wanted to give a little bit more context to how I know there's another hunter in here. Uh, it's actually one of my buddies, um, one of Kendall's best friends. We both knew that this deer was gonna be here this year. Um, we saw him all, all year last year, knew that he made it to the season. Uh, so we, ha I, we actually hadn't really talked once we got trail cam pictures of him this year. Um, just because it was kind of like once he made it through the year last year we both knew it was game on and that we'd both be going after him he actually just started hunting recently so we're, we're keeping in touch now cause since we both know that we're hunting pretty close to each other um, so if he kills it I'd be super happy for him um, and we're actually going to go film the recovery with him if that happens and say vice versa if I kill it he's going to come film with me so can't see the opposite hillside from here so they could easily just be bedded on that hill like 50 yards away and I just wouldn't see them but the reason I'm I'm looking over here is because I have a camera on the other side of this little block of woods it's maybe four acres and the six by six showed up last night on that camera and usually when he shows up on that camera he beds in here somewhere so we're actually about to go hang a, a, a set probably a saddle and I just wanted to make sure he wasn't there before we went in there because I don't want to spook him out. So. <laughs> It's a chestnut oak acorn and deer absolutely smash these things. Lee actually was was nice enough to uh, collect a little bit for me. His uh, his big buck Leo was just gorging on these things. So that was about two minutes of picking yeah, up. Yeah, they're acorn everywhere over there. over there. So that's Kendall's deer from last night. Absolute toad. And then. Just his mass is much better than I thought. Obviously, just has tines everywhere. Super. This picture you can finally kind of see like how old he is based on his face, how long his nose is, how his eyes are kind of sunk in a little bit. Just absolute stud. So. 611 right now we need to go ahead and get in i gotta hang a camera arm in this spot the stand isn't fully set fully prepped yet so i gotta get in there i'm a little earlier than normal so uh let's go ahead and get in the tree I think there's a good chance that he's still in the 
I think those deer are kind of on to what's going on in the other block. Same. Same. And I think that that place is probably somewhere he's never been messed with or has been messed with very little. And I mean, clearly, you know, he liked it there because of yesterday evening. Yeah. I'd go right back to the same spot. I feel like this deer is gonna go down soon. Whether it's from me or for, from Nathan, the other hunter who is in, actually in the stand right now. I just passed his setup, saw his truck down there. But uh, this deer's days are numbered, that's for sure. Did you actually shoot him? Yeah, I, I definitely shot it. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god. You dude. gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I swear to god, I like a few minutes ago when I when I first called you, I almost like just blacked out. Like Yeah, know, I thought you were like I'm not laying on the ground right now. When like, you first hey. called me, I was like you're calling me kinda early, but you don't sound like you shot anything at all. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> dude. Congrats. <laughs> He ran straight towards your property. I don't know if I'll get that lucky. Oh my gosh. Well, third, you just you just killed step. a 210 inch deer. I'll get down now and head over to you. All right. All right. Unbelievable. You're making me nervous. You should be nervous. He's dead. No, he's not. He is. You're, you're messing with me. I'm not messing with you. He's dead. You're 100% messing with me. I didn't kill him, though. Nathan, what? Nathan, no. did, Nathan just killed him. No, for real? Yep. Oh, no. I mean, oh, dang. Dude, I'm heartbroken for you, but I'm thrilled for Nathan. Yeah. I know how hard you work for that deer. I'm sorry, man. I mean, it's all good. I'm I'm happy that he killed it and not somebody else. I'm, I'm but yeah. Do I'm not also get it wrong. I'm also kind of blown I'm away. Like, as far as I know, he has not gotten daylight pictures of him, which he could have. I don't know. And I think he's only sat twice, two or three times. I'm on sit 13 tonight. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm bummed for you, but I'm thrilled for Nathan, man. He. He deserves a good deer. That's the scary part about this deer is he could legitimately be like 190s or he could really be like over 210. I mean, there's, I really don't know. I'm dying to see what he looks like. What have you done? I'm still shaking. I don't know yet. I don't want to say anything. Congrats, dude. Oh my god. Dude, I'm like legit so happy for you. Oh god, thank you so much. I, you know what's funny? I sat there and like said a little prayer and I was just standing there like in the stand early on. I was like, I think it's gonna happen for him tonight. For and me? I'm, yeah, and I'm like, I'm I'm genuinely gonna be happy for yeah. him. And that's a cool feeling. So Yeah. I figured it was gonna be a coin flip. I I definitely thought that you would have the momentum going into like next week. Actually, I shot him. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. He slipped, like he slipped, he slipped, laying in the yard. Wait, what? He ran from his, his spot. What's happening right now? 
<laughs> so we get to recover them on my spot though. What's happening right now? <laughs> did you shoot him or did you shoot him? <laughs> You did? You actually... Did you really? <laughs> Dude, I'm so freaked out right now. I just... Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh it man. Good, but it... I'm already exhausted from the season. I feel like it's been two months and it's... I, it it I, hadn't even been two weeks. I literally was falling asleep and I looked and I was like, I wonder if Drew or Nathan has seen anything. Dude, it reeks a buck. I mean, that's potent. Here's okay. Here's blood here. <clears throat> here's that little teeny bit. Here's there's blood. Cool here's some. Um, so every year. He went this way. There's your arrow. How much penetration? He's like headed to your stand. Yeah, pretty much. So uh, we actually just found blood and the deer's running like literally right to my property that I've been sitting at for the last two weeks. Rather than like walking through people's yards and having to knock on doors and stuff to get permission, we're just gonna check here first. If he's not here, we'll kind of backtrack and go come back from the other way. So where do you think you heard him? Oh my gosh. Oh my shit. God. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what the? That is a Jeez. freaking giant. What is happening? Holy smokes, dude. It's not real. <laughs> oh my God, Holy crap! I don't think this is real. I'm definitely dreaming. I think that deer's way over 200. Man, I'm just, I'm just happy that one of us killed him. This could have, this could have gone on like the entire season, and we could have been stressed out the entire season. Kind of glad it's but over. Kind of glad it's over. I'm super pumped that it stayed in our group for sure. No, Amongst yeah. the friends. There's, I mean, there's no telling how many other people were hunting this deer. Oh man, yeah, it's um, hard to ignore that. I just feel like the story ends how it's supposed to, one way or another. Yep. I feel like this is how it's supposed to go down. Nathan, I don't really think you know what at all is in front of you right now. I guess starting to set in a little bit, but I'm definitely in shock. Would tidbit. you shut up over there? Look, this is tough getting through this freaking. We're having tidbit. a moment. <laughs> Imagine going back. <laughs> Get out. Should we hug over the deer? <sighs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. It was an awkward hug, but. Well, until we'll next year when there's another big one in here. That way. That way? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, follow, follow this trail. Oh, Are you helping? Me? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Should I? We, we switch sides. Although the story of 6x6 didn't play out as we had hoped, we were still very thankful to at least help recover this incredible animal. Every year we pour tons of time and energy into chasing several bucks, and honestly, more times than not, we are unsuccessful at finishing this story. It just goes to show how smart these animals really are and how well adapted they are to this urban environment. If there's anything this particular hunt has taught me, is to enjoy the pursuit and not just the result, and to always share both your successes and failures with good friends. Okay. We got some adding up to do. I ain't no math Call magician. Him Call them out and I'll add them. One, seven, seven, two. Sit down. <laughs> if you think you're gonna fall over, yeah. It's a little better now. 352 inches. <laughs> what is he? 201 and 2 eighths. Really? Dang. That's terrible. 
I'll you take it. <laughs> First 200, wow. dude. Yeah. Congrats. Gosh. Hey, why don't you just put them back? <laughs> <laughs> don't think it'll take. Catch and release. Nice. 200 club, oh. baby. Oh, my God. Well, I... I'm a little embarrassed about my 220 guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I was thinking he was. You may have. I'm gonna mess with him a little bit. Okay. It's gonna be too easy. Hey. All right. What did your deer score? 234 and 7 eighths netted. No, what was the, the net? 213. Um. Say hello to second place. Damn, for real. Yep. Yeah, I mean, y'all found him and everything, obviously, because that's what I was. Nobody said anything. This deer, this deer smashes your record, bro. Damn, for real? Yes. Huh. Way over, yeah. Sorry, Dude, buddy. That's freaking awesome. You ain't the king no more. You gotta step aside, brother. Hey, I'm good. I'll take my 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think you're safe, but this deer's. Whoa.